to the month of September. How are you doing this morning? I trust that you are well as always. Thank you so much for joining us on My Doctor. My name is Winnie Lubembe. Now today we want to talk matters of the heart. And you know what? It's great that you want to improve your heart health. And of course, um, you know, don't think that you have to make big changes to have an effect uh, on your heart health. Though, even small basic steps can have dramatic effects. And of course, today we want to talk about a healthy heart. All right. So if you have any question in regards to the same and then feel free to call us live or 791-478-990 is the number to call through or send us a text message on 40920 and of course we'll be answering all your questions as far as healthy heart is concerned and of course my guest is here ready to give us all the info we need to have as far as a healthy heart is concerned and first of all what does it even mean to have a healthy heart so if you have any question again we're live so or 791-478-990 is the number to call through and of course, he'll be able to answer all your questions. So let me meet him. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this Pretty morning? Good. Pretty well. good. You're well. Thank you so much for making time for us. My on, pleasure. Uh, my doctor. Yeah. And before we get into all the matters of the heart, kindly introduce yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. My name is uh, Primanand Purnot. Mm -hmm. uh, people call me Dr. Prim. Okay. I, I'm attached to Karen Hospital mm -hmm. from May 2017. All right. Uh, I came from Mauritius, basically I'm from India, mm -hmm. but I was working for the government of Mauritius. All right. And for the last two years, or a little more than two years, mm -hmm. we have been able to build up the cardiac team, yeah. or the cardiothoracic surgery, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. the heart surgery, mm -hmm. over a period of time, and we are doing, uh, in the two year period, I have done 250 open heart surgeries. Oh wow, yeah. okay. Um, for, so it's beneficial to the Kenyans, Yes. and we are, our motto and our aim is to make sure that we give good quality treatment mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. all the Kenyans mm -hmm. and the surrounding sub-Saharan area yes. so that they don't have to depend on India or South Africa yeah. or Europe mm -hmm. for these type of highly specialized treatment. True, that's true. You're right. Yeah. Most people, of course, would prefer to go outside and get some of the sticks because, again, some that's of the services are not available yes. in the country, but I'm, I'm glad that you said it's yes. important for us to have all the services in the country. That's all right. True. Now, let's start with just the basics. Let's go back to what? We learned these things in, in primary school in high school, some of us, all yes, right? And, yes. and that is the heart, Yes. all right? So in, in a nutshell, what is the heart? Where is it located? Yes. And uh, what are some of the structures of the heart? Yeah. Yeah. So to put it, you know, in a short form, mm -hmm. heart is nothing but a muscle. Yeah. So it's, it's an organ, it's a hard working organ mm -hmm. because it starts working the moment you are born yeah. and it works till you are dead. Yeah. So it's worked tirelessly. Mm -hmm. So it is inside the chest mm -hmm. cavity. Think of chest as a trunk as yeah. a box All right. so it is inside the chest okay. it's located on the left side mm -hmm. uh, and it works the main function of the heart is to mm -hmm. pump blood it's yeah. just like the motor pump in your house yeah. to pump water yes. so into water it is pumping blood mm -hmm. and it pumps blood mm -hmm. throughout the body mm -hmm. so it has got two portions mm -hmm. there's a left portion and there's a right and portion the, right portion. Okay. the left portion uh, is the one which is dealing with the oxygenated heart mm -hmm. or the pure heart I mean, sorry, blood. oxygenated blood mm. or the pure blood. Mm -hmm. And the right side is the one which receives the impure blood from mm -hmm. the body. Mm -hmm. And from the right side, it goes into the lung mm -hmm. where it get, you know, oxygen uh, get, you know, it get purified mm -hmm. or it become enriched with oxygen, mm -hmm. come to the left side and it pumps throughout the body. Yeah. So it, it's like a cycle mm -hmm. and it goes on and on and on. Okay. So it's basically a muscle, mm -hmm. but it's a, you know, highly, um, which is not under our control. As mm -hmm. you know that, Normally, when the heart beats, mm -hmm. you don't you don't realize it. We it is working. Yeah. But the moment you start realizing it, mm -hmm. that means there is something wrong. That's yeah. a warning sign. Okay. There is something is wrong. All you right. know, when you people come to you telling that you know you feel heartbeat, mm -hmm. sometimes it is racing, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Yeah. You know, the symptoms can be many. Okay. And of course, we'll we'll be we'll be addressing them. But then again, when it comes to the normal pulse rate, I know you talked about sometimes by the way you don't know mm -hmm. <laughs> that your heart is, is is beating or is functioning unless let's say you're in a situation where let's say you're afraid, you're nervous, you all those things, and then you'll be able to feel your heart and you'll feel the um, the heart rate. All right. Yeah. So what is like the normal pulse rate for all of us, and is it different between children and it adults? It is. It is. Mm -hmm. In children, it is always high, okay. but as you become mature, as mm -hmm. you become an adult, mm -hmm. as you know, the heart rate more or less it stabilizes between sixty to ninety. Okay, that's a usual thing. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, you know, there's a, there can be a little bit of physiological variation. What I mean to say, mm -hmm. you are running. Okay, your heart rate will raise. Yeah, 
when you sleep, mm -hmm. the heart rate will be low. Okay. So that's a normal physiological variation which okay. is found in everyone. Yeah. But some people, mm -hmm. maybe because of some reasons, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. pathologically or because of disease, the heart rate can be less All right. or the heart rate can be more. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. they, they are pathology or mm -hmm. disease conditions. Mm -hmm. So if that is so, mm -hmm. we have to analyze and test the patient and mm -hmm. see why it is low. Mm -hmm. There are certain people whose heart rate is normally, it is on the low side, especially yeah. For example, professional athletes mm. who you find the heart rate is only 40 or 45, but he is fine. Mm -hmm. So that is the conditioning or the, what do you mean to say, a physiological uh, adaptation of the human body okay. to the situation he is. Mm -hmm. It's not like for you and me, mm -hmm. but for professionals who does mm -hmm. only running or, you know, mm -hmm. athletes, mm -hmm. it can be low. Okay. But it's a normal thing. Okay. But otherwise, if it becomes low, mm -hmm. persistently low, mm -hmm. Yeah, then the warning then, sign is up. Okay, and of course that that will tell yes. um, there's something there's something wrong. Okay, oh. we'll talk about that later. Yes. But now, of course, we're focusing on a healthy heart. Yes. All right? yes. So then, what does that mean in a nutshell? You know, there is an association in the world called World Heart Federation. All right. It is there in Kenya. Mm -hmm. It is there in Sub-Sahara. You know, all over the world, Europe, India, Asia, mm -hmm. anywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's a non-profit organization. All right. The idea of the whole Heart Federation uh, mm -hmm. is to educate people, mm. make people aware of the heart problems. Mm. As you know, uh, you know, nowadays things are changing. Yeah. You can say previously, for example, Kenya, if mm. you take, mm -hmm. we used to get more and more patients with infected diseases, yep. you know, malaria, mm. kalazar, and whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But now the goalpost is changing. Yeah. There's a change in scenario. Yeah. Now you find it has been estimated, estimated that 50% mm -hmm. of the hospital admission, any, mm -hmm. any hospital, mm -hmm is because of non-communicable disease. disease. It's called true. NCD mm. in short form. Mm -hmm. It can be because of diabetes, it mm. can be due to hypertension, hypertension, it can be because of cancer, mm -hmm. eye problems. So the, the infected part has gone and it has been changed to non-infected yes, or non-communicable yeah. disease. Mm -hmm. So, and it has been estimated that about 17 million people mm. die every year mm -hmm. because of this problem, yeah. of heart problem mm -hmm. or stroke. Mm -hmm. So it's a big, you can say it's a big number, yeah. which we have to really think about. And many of these things can be avoided if you have a healthy lifestyle. Okay. So that is why people stress on that, mm -hmm. like, you know, so we will talk about that. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is why a lot of talk about the heart, how to maintain the heart, how mm -hmm. to have a healthy life and all mm -hmm. sorts. All right. And you see, when we're talking about um, a healthy lifestyle, this is where the contention is. Um, someone might say, for instance, depending on, let's say, um, a person's occupation and so many other things that come to play as far as lifestyle is concerned. Um, one would say, but wait, I am active. I try as much as possible and eat a balanced diet. Yes. And still, in one way or the other, you'd find that there's some people who have conditions, and of course, NCDs being, yes. being one of them. So when we talk about a healthy lifestyle, yes. what do we mean? Because when we talk about um, eat a balanced diet, try as much as possible and be active, you know, and all those things. Yes. Some people would argue and say, but I do all those things. But still but I get still, it. Yes, I still have cases. Of, I know. Um, this is, as a doctor, this is a very common question we mm -hmm. come across, you know. Right. Many people come and say, I have a heart problem, but still, you know, I have a yeah. good, you know. See, there are a lot of risk factors for this. Okay. You know, it's not like one thing. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. if you have diabetes, okay. sugar problem, you are a risk factor. Yeah. If you have blood pressure problem, you have a risk factor. Mm -hmm. If you smoke and drink, it's a risk you factor. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. if you eat a lot of fatty food, mm -hmm. unhealthy, you know what I mean, it's a burger and yeah. all these cheesy, greasy things. Mm -hmm. Of course, they are all tasty, mm -hmm. but you know, you then you are in a th you know, thin yeah. ice. Okay. And some of the things that you should understand is that genetics plays a very important role. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. okay. your father, mother, or close relatives, your uncle or someone mm -hmm. has a heart problem. Mm -hmm. There's a good chance that you can you also can get, in yeah. spite of the fact that mm -hmm. you may be having a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. And of course, another thing I don't want to forget is that mm -hmm. the stress. Mm -hmm. As you know, stress is a part and parcel of the modern life. Yeah. You have it, I have it, everyone mm -hmm. has it. Yeah. The main question is, a million dollar question is that, how do you get around it? Yeah. Because it is a part of normal life. So mm -hmm. you have to learn to live with it, mm -hmm. rather. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that's a term I would use. Yeah. Live with it and how to get over it. For example, yeah. You are a busy person who is having a lot of stress, mm -hmm. but you should take time mm. out to make sure, make yourself, you know, unwind. Right. For example, okay. your your uh, mode of unwinding may be different from mine. True. 
Some people say, when I go with my wife, I feel nice. Some mm -hmm. people say, when I do for bicycling, I feel nice. Some people say, I jump from the cliff, I feel nice. <laughs> I feel you know? nice. So, right. so on and yeah. so forth. Yeah. So, but I think the moral of the story is that mm -hmm. you should learn mm. to find out something which makes you happy and you know, relax. Mm. And you yeah. must do it. Okay. That's all. So it's not work, work, work. Okay. It should be combined with that. All right. So you should know how to unwind. Okay. And there's some people who would say, uh, for me to unwind, I would go out with my friends, have a glass or two and yeah <laughs> and you see here we say again of course alcohol and, and smoking of course puts you at risk so does this mean then balance i would say what now as a doctor i should not say but i would say everything in moderation, moderation. is okay yes moderation but i would say okay. suppose okay. you go out with your friends have a glass of red wine mm -hmm. it is good mm -hmm. red wine is supposed to be good because yeah. the the skin of the grapes from mm. it the red wine is mm. extracted yeah. has got a lot of antioxidant all right this antioxidant is something which will protect your blood vessels mm. from having you know blocks and things like that yeah so i would say if you ask me personally all a right. glass of red wine won't it's harm good. you all right but that does not mean that you take one bottle okay <laughs> don't do it all yeah. right okay and then um there's some people especially for the children right now we see um so many cases of children with diabetes and, um, you know, of course, cases of obesity as well. And of course, this put, puts them at risk of developing, of course, heart conditions, um, you know, later on. So can we talk about then um, how? Because you see, um, and, and how soon, of course, they get introduced to all this, especially when it comes to yes. food. You know, mm -hmm. it has been estimated mm -hmm. and it has been researched and documented yeah. that obesity starts from the childhood. Mm -hmm. It doesn't start when you are mm -hmm. 30, 40 or 50. Yeah. So it, the, the seed for mm -hmm. the whole thing mm -hmm. has been sowed mm -hmm. when you are a small when boy itself. Yeah. Only thing, it manifests later in life. All right. Now, so for example, a person who has got a chance for obesity, mm -hmm. if he is careful, mm -hmm. if he has got a you know, fairly controlled good mm -hmm. lifestyle, mm -hmm. the chance of problems can be pushed All right. from 30 or 40 mm -hmm. to 60 or 70. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you can... Mm -hmm shift the whole problem, yeah. it will delay it. Mm. So, but the, it is inside him, mm -hmm. that's what I mean. So mm -hmm. I think, especially in America and all mm -hmm. those, that's why the people at the very young age, from mm -hmm. primary school itself, mm -hmm. they've been told, eat healthy, you mm -hmm. know, you must take greens, you mm -hmm. must take vegetables, you know, mm -hmm. all, all sort of things are being taught to them at mm -hmm. a very young age. Yeah. Because obesity in children is a main problem. It is. It and is. of course, uh, Mm -hmm. and, and, and in terms of then still on, on obesity, and someone might be like, okay, fine. So obesity, we know um, it could be con contributing to, you know, cases of hypertension and all those things. Yes, Diabetes, yes, of course, being yes. one of them. But then again, when it comes to the heart, um, how so? And especially for, for the children. And then, like you said, of course, you might not see the effects then and there. But of course, it as they grow later. older, they, get, they, they, they yes. become at risk. Yes. So then what does it do? Does it sort of like thin the heart or what usually happens? So mm -hmm. as per the statistics, mm -hmm. Kenyan statistics, mm -hmm. it's not the latest, but almost the latest. Yeah. It is estimated that about 200,000 children below the age of 18 mm -hmm. is having the heart problem. Yeah. That's, that's the estimate what mm -hmm. we have. Mm -hmm. If you take the 200,000, mm -hmm. half of them have what is known as by birth congenital problem mm -hmm. in doctor's term. That is, they are born with some congenital problem. Problems, Usually yeah. it is a hole in the heart. Mm. It can be on the upper chamber. It can be on the lower chamber. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes we call tetralogy of, you know, or multiple things can happen. Mm. So 50% you can say mm -hmm. is born with problems mm -hmm. at the time of birth. Yeah. There can be multi we can analyze it further, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, why it happens. Mm -hmm. The other 50 has what is known as rheumatic heart disease. Mm. It is very common in Africa, it yeah. was common in Asia, but you know, things can be uh, fixed mm -hmm. or we can reduce the number mm -hmm. as we educate the, the, the family yes. and the public. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think government policy is very important. Mm -hmm. this, is, this happens especially when you have an infection of the throat, repeated mm -hmm. infection of the throat mm -hmm. right. by an organism called streptococcus. It's a bug. Mm -hmm. So when you have this problem, especially children with throat pain and you know, fever, mm -hmm. if you don't take proper care yeah. over a period of time, mm -hmm. it, you know, it, uh, in doctor's book, it is written, mm -hmm. it licks the joint but bites the heart. Mm -hmm. And that happens not immediately, okay. later in life. Later in life, yeah. all right. So okay. if you take proper care mm -hmm. of these infections mm -hmm. at the early stage, mm -hmm. we can avoid this rheumatic heart disease okay. in the later stage. All right. But if you don't take it, mm -hmm. you know, they're okay, children are okay. Yeah. But you find when they become 20 and 30, mm -hmm. they come up with heart problems. Yeah. So what happens is that, what I mean to say, lick the joint, these mm -hmm. patients with mm -hmm. rheumatic fever, mm -hmm. they will have throat pain, fever, mm -hmm. joint pains, everything. Mm -hmm. And later in life, 
this organism affects the valve. Yeah. That's called biting the heart. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, long in a yes. in a in layman's term. Okay. Uh, so I think that's very important. Okay. So in India, for example, I'll tell you, because of constant campaign mm -hmm. by the government, mm -hmm. like you know, through the paper, through mm -hmm. the newspaper, through the TV mm -hmm. or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know, the the education of the public. The rheumatic heart disease is coming down. It's coming down. All right. But I'm sure Kenya will also get into that stage. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. is just the education of the public. Yeah. I think things are better. All right. But I think in the days to come or in the years to come, I'm do. sure it will come yes. down. So what you find is that again, mm -hmm. now we find a lot of rheumatic heart disease. You know, mm -hmm. I do a lot of valve surgeries and mm -hmm. repairs and all those. Mm -hmm. But over a period of time, down the line, maybe mm -hmm. five or ten years, you find that this is becoming less. Yeah. And you find a different disease called coronary artery disease. It Again. is because yeah. of your affluent life, mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. That's another, you know, pay the price for the affluent. Yes. Any country with affluence, mm -hmm. you find that the rheumatic heart disease has come down, down. Yeah. and the other problem because of the cholesterol, Yes. you know? Mm -hmm. So I think we are slowly moving to the, that direction because okay. the reason I say is that mm -hmm. gone are the days where the children go out and play football. True. Now everyone True. is on the phone, on yes. the computer, playing football or in your TV. room. Yes. So. so Physical activity is very important. very important. Probably that must be the reason why we find we don't find mm -hmm. we were not finding mm -hmm. this type of disease previously. Mm -hmm. If you look at the history of your father or grandfather, yeah. they never had any problem mm -hmm. because they used to have a lot of outside life. Mm -hmm. They were mm -hmm. active. Mm -hmm. They used to have very healthy food. True. But now things have changed. See. Now children want all these greasy food, it's true. which may be tasty. I don't say no to it. Okay. And they are not very active. Yes. So all those, see, it's like 2 plus like 2 humidity. is 4, yes. 4 plus 2 is 6. You know, it's keep on doing that. Mm -hmm. All right. And of course, um, in terms of then, um, still on um, on rheumatic heart disease, and especially for, for the children, and I like what you said, um, right now we think, uh, you know, Affluence is, is we all want that, but then again, on the other side, we don't we don't know of course some of the, the the things that it puts at at risk. And of course, of course, heart conditions being one of them. And now for the congenital heart disease, most of the time you'd find that I mean, parents tend to blame themselves, and especially for the mother, because the society will be like, you did something when you were pregnant, and that is why the baby has been born with a congenital heart, um, you know, disease. So then, how does it come about? Are there things that is it true? that the mother must have done something when they were pregnant for them yeah. to get, uh, you know. I think it's, you know, there's no point in blaming only the yes. mother, you know. Mm -hmm. See, what I mean to say, the reason for these, all these things are is that mm -hmm. when someone is pregnant, yes. for example, mm -hmm. you know, the mother has to take some precautions. For example, mm -hmm. they should not take, they should not do smoking, mm -hmm. they should not take alcohol, mm -hmm. they should avoid unnecessary infection mm -hmm. because uh, they should not take any medication without mm -hmm. any proper guidance from the doctors. Mm -hmm. All these are important, mm -hmm. is it? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, some, of course, in the Western world, you know, the drug use is another problem. Yep. So all these things can happen. Mm -hmm. So all these, uh, especially if the mother has got in the first three months of pregnancy, mm -hmm. infected diseases like measles, mm -hmm. chicken pox yeah. or smallpox, mm -hmm. all these can cause mm -hmm. uh, the developmental problem for, mm -hmm. the, for the child in the yeah. womb. Mm -hmm. So, if you take proper maternal care, care. All right. especially in the pregnancy period, mm -hmm. good number of these problems mm -hmm. can be avoided. Mm -hmm. But I think we are getting there. It's mm -hmm. all because of the education, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. If you don't have education, probably you'll take, oh, it's all, you know, you just take medicine from the mm -hmm. dispensary, no. Yeah. You have to ask which is it's good, okay. which yeah. is bad, which is... So, I think proper medication under the guidance, mm -hmm. all those things are important. Yeah. So. I think once the people become more educated, mm -hmm. the awareness, things will come down. Okay. Yeah. All so right. if you don't, if you are not aware, mm -hmm. then the problems will creep in. True. You know, that's, that's what true. is happening. All right. And, and, and you see, in Kenya, we have this culture of self-medication um, where you feel, let's say, some signs and symptoms and then you just go, uh, you know, run to your pharmacy and then get Take some medication. Pills and yes. And, and then that's it. And, and uh, you know, you might not really know later on, and especially for the children where, of course, like you said earlier on, if you deal with the infections properly, then of course, reduces chances of um, rheumatic heart, yes. heart disease. All right. So we need to take a very short break, but when we come back, now we would want to understand, um, you know, in terms of the, we talked about the risk factor, but in terms of now blood pressure, which so many people complain about, yes. and then, you know, and how it can lead to some other, and, and cholesterol as well, which is very, 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 um, 
you know, key plays a key role as far as heart yes, um, yes. conditions is concerned. So if you have any other question, remember we are live. So that means you can call in any time with your question. And of course, we'll be more than glad to answer them. The number to call through is 0791478990. Or better yet, send us a text message on 40920. And we'll be answering your questions as soon as we come back from this very short break. See you soon. All right, welcome back. Glad you're still with us. This is my doctor. And uh, just in case you're tuning in right now, today our focus is on healthy heart. And of course, as we know, on the 29th, we'll be celebrating the World Healthy Heart Day. So it's very, very important for us to pass the awareness, as Dr. Prem says, uh, as far as healthy heart is concerned, so that we reduce the number of, um, you know, some of this heart conditions. So again, if you have any question in relation to the same, uh, we're live. So you can call in any time. 0791478990 is the number to call through or send us a text message on 40920 and of course we'll be answering your questions as soon as we get it as far as healthy heart is concerned and of course before we went for break um, you know early on we were talking about you know some of this uh, condition especially obesity and uh, you know diabetes and now Dr. Prem can we talk about um, blood pressure which is something that so many people um, struggle with and sometimes we don't really know maybe there's some things that we do that of course translate to us developing blood pressure yes. and eventually of course can translate into um heart disease yes. so blood pressure how then does it contribute to yeah. the same see everyone has blood pressure yes that nothing no one is without blood pressure yes so as you know there is a range in mm -hmm. which it has to be there mm -hmm. When you take a blood pressure, two numbers will be there. All right. One is called systolic, mm -hmm. that is when the heart is beating, yeah. I mean squeezing, mm -hmm. and diastolic, diastolic when the heart is yeah. So there is one top number, bottom In number. The bottom. All right. By and large, mm -hmm. you know, the blood pressure, the top one, mm -hmm. should range, say I would say between 110 to 130, All right. and the bottom one between 70 and 90. And 90 I'm telling, sure. you know, ballpark figure. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to split the hair. Yeah. Easy to remember. Mm -hmm. Now, when it, as I told you, mm -hmm. it can physiologically it can vary. For example, you are running yeah. 100 meters, mm -hmm. it will go up. Yeah. When you are sleeping, it will go, go down. down. Yes. That's so the physiological. Mm -hmm. Now, if the blood pressure mm -hmm. remains persistently high, mm -hmm. you know, it, you know, you have to take minimum three times, especially when you are cool and calm. Mm -hmm. There's something called white coat syndrome. For All example, right. I'm just telling you, okay. when you go to a doctor's chamber, mm -hmm. especially if the doctor is not. Yes. Familiar to you, suddenly your pressure goes up. True. It's a non. Yes. It's, it's not as a white coat syndrome. Yes. It, it's, it's it happens all the time. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that, then, just because your pressure is up just once, mm -hmm. I cannot brand you as a blood mm -hmm. pressure or high blood pressure, pressure patient. patient. So yeah. you have to repeatedly check, mm -hmm. especially when you are relaxed, cool, calm. All right. That's what I mean to say. Okay. Just because your pressure is high, mm -hmm. oh, I cannot say, oh, you have, I cannot put the pill. Okay. So I have to check and recheck, all make right. sure. Okay. So that's what I. Mean. So if you ask me personally, what are the in the common day-to-day -day life, mm. salt is a very important factor. Ooh, okay. You know, especially, mm -hmm. you know, Kenya is blessed in that way because I don't think people use too much of salt. Mm -hmm. But if you go to Asia, India and all over, people use left and right salt. salt yes. They like salty food, you know, yes. salt biscuits, you know, all these chips and all sort of things, all full of salt. Yes. And uh, so that is an important factor. So mm -hmm. one of the common things that we say when a patient with high blood pressure, mm -hmm. first is take out your unnecessary salt. All right. You are supposed to take per day. I would say about two or three grams, not right. more than that, per day. Yes. But some guys take too much. A lot, yeah. yeah then and, and most of us tend to sort of, you see when, when the food is ready and then we add yes. like raw salt. So I think that, yeah. so excess salt mm -hmm. or restriction of salt intake per day is a very important thing. It's very thing. important, okay. Number two, if you ask me, stress is a very important factor. Mm. You know, you may look cool and calm, but inside you will be boiling. Yes. So you find your pr pressure is up on the roof. Mm -hmm. So I think, as I told you previously, mm -hmm. we should learn to calm ourselves down, mm -hmm. whatever it may be, yeah. that is one. Mm -hmm. Control your food intake, especially mm -hmm. salt intake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are the first two things we say. Yeah. You know, then find out whether this pressure, mm -hmm. is there a cause for this high blood pressure? Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. the, you can have high blood pressure because of some other reason. For yeah. example, if the blood supply, if we say, you know, the blood vessel to the kidneys are blocked, mm -hmm. sometimes you get high blood pressure. All right. So we have to find out whether it is uh, it's called primary hypertension mm -hmm. because there is no reason for it mm -hmm. or it is secondary mm -hmm. due to something else. Yeah. So those are the things we analyze as a doctor. Right. Okay. And then as per the need, you give the medication. Okay. That's what you do. Okay. And, and what about weight? Because I've had so many people say, oh, my blood pressure is high because also yeah. I am so overweight. Yeah. Uh, you know, is, is, is that true? Or we, no, weight, you? you see, obesity is always a, 
precursor for multiple reasons. Yes. You know, in fact, I don't know whether you mm -hmm. remember the mm -hmm. previous mm -hmm. American president, mm -hmm. Obama, mm -hmm. in fact, he told that obesity is mm -hmm. injurious to health, just mm -hmm. like smoking is injurious. Yeah, he was coming sure. with a coin mm -hmm. and in fact, he told openly. Mm -hmm. So because obesity mm -hmm. can cause a lot of multiple things. For example, mm -hmm. you can have high blood pressure, you can mm -hmm. have diabetes, mm -hmm. you can have knee problems, yeah. joint problems, mm -hmm. you know, all sort of things. Mm -hmm. So that's why people say you have to be active, keep the weight under control. So mm -hmm. it can lead to, and then heart problem, of course, I didn't forget. Yeah. If you are too much obese, a lot of mm -hmm. cholesterol in the blood. Mm -hmm. So it can lead to multiple things. That's why yeah. people say that you have to be active, keep mm -hmm. the weight under control, mm -hmm. so that you can have a healthy, you know, disease-free yes. quality life ahead. Okay. And, and then again, talking about cholesterol, you see most of us, we don't really monitor the amount of cholesterol we take in a day as we eat. So we're always told to make sure that you have, um, you know, or you take a balanced diet. We try to do that. Try and be active. We try to do that. But on the other side, we don't really monitor the amount of cholesterol that, yeah. um, yes. you know, we yes. take per day. Yeah. So can you talk about, like, the recommended per day and then they say when you go higher or when yeah. you go lower, what can yeah. happen? Basically, mm -hmm. cholesterol can be divided into two. Right. One is known as a good cholesterol, the other one is known as a bad, bad cholesterol. cholesterol. It's a very common term which is used. Mm -hmm. A good cholesterol is good because mm -hmm. it's a protection for the heart, mm -hmm. which is called the high HDL, yeah. high density cholesterol. Mm -hmm. It's a good cholesterol. Mm -hmm. The bad cholesterol mm -hmm. is the guy who is low density, LDL, mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. So, especially, you know, if you go to Asia and all those, coconut oil is notorious, mm -hmm. and it's a bad cholesterol. But in, yeah, oil. yeah. Okay, yeah. but so, we almost also try. Yeah, to but you know the problem is that if you, okay. especially the country from where I come, right. India, mm -hmm. most of the cooking is done in coconut oil, yeah. someplace, which is not good. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if you do cooking in mustard oil or groundnut oil mm -hmm. and all the sort of you know mm -hmm. sunflower oil, mm -hmm. that's a good color, good good oil. Most of us use vegetable oil. Yeah. So is that good or bad? Yeah, it is good. That's good. Yeah. All so right. that's what I'm going to say. Uh -huh. So, so and then mm -hmm. number two. Try to avoid fried food. Yeah. You know, basically, fortunately, I think here people mm. don't take much fried food. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. in some part of the world, fried food is it's a like day, the staple. Yeah, it's a staple yeah. diet. Mm -hmm. So avoid fried oily food. All right. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, when you do the cooking, mm -hmm. use the good oil for cooking. All right. That is two. Mm -hmm. So if these are the two things that you have to know, mm -hmm. because when you have bad cholesterol, mm -hmm. high bad cholesterol or mm -hmm. high LDL mm -hmm. in the blood. Mm -hmm. What happens is that it gets deposited in the blood vessels. Yeah. I want to tell you that heart, mm -hmm. as you know, it's a muscle. Mm -hmm. It needs food, just sure. like you need food or I need food. Mm -hmm. Heart needs food. Mm -hmm. And the food for the heart is coming through a, the blood vessels, which is, this mm -hmm. is a specimen right. of the heart. Mm -hmm. And there are blood vessels running over the heart. Mm -hmm. And it is through this, the food for the heart comes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when the cholesterol is high, All right. it gets deposited in the blood vessels. Mm -hmm and it causes block. Mm -hmm. So the food for the heart doesn't come. Yeah. And what happens is that just like when you are feeling hungry, mm -hmm. you, feel, you feel that hunger, mm -hmm. but the heart doesn't get the food mm -hmm. through these blood vessels, mm -hmm. it feels the hunger yeah. and it is manifested as pain. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. is what people mm -hmm. say when I walk or run, mm -hmm. I get some chest discomfort and yeah. pain. It is In nothing the but the heart. cry for the heart muscle okay. for more food. Okay. And the food cannot reach because of the blockage. Yes. You see? Mm -hmm. So it's like a cycle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Excess of cholesterol, mm -hmm. especially bad cholesterol, bad cholesterol mm -hmm. deposits on the blood vessels mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. causes narrowing of the blood vessel mm -hmm. where which the blood flow becomes less. Okay. So initially, God is great. Mm -hmm. What I want to tell you is that initially it gives warning signs. You know, most mm -hmm. of these patients who come, yeah. it doesn't happen immediately. Mm -hmm. There'll be a lot of warning signs which they ignore. Mm -hmm. They do self-medication. Many mm -hmm. people say, oh, it's only, you know, some gas in my tummy. Yeah. They go take some pills and goes around. Yep. So the self-medication keep mm -hmm. on going. Mm -hmm. So the moral of the story, what I want to tell the public is that mm -hmm. if you have a problem mm -hmm. which is not getting fixed, mm -hmm. don't try to keep on yeah. medicate yourself. All right. Take expert help mm -hmm. because you may be missing something. True. As you know, prevention is better than yeah, cure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you can catch it early, the better. It, it can be fixed early, okay. but you keep on pushing the envelope mm -hmm. till the end, mm -hmm. then you get into trouble, then you need, you know. It becomes even more costly. Like, as most far, costly, uh, yeah. more complicated, mm -hmm. more risk, you know, all yeah. sort of things. Okay. All right. Then, so how do I know that my heart is not healthy? Is there pain? Is there headache? Do I feel nauseous? <laughs> what happens? No, I would say mm -hmm. anyone more than 45 years, if mm -hmm. you ask me personally, should have an annual checkup. All right. That's what I mean, mm -hmm. whether you are healthy or not. Or not, or not. Yeah. yeah. Especially more so. Mm -hmm. 
you have a strong family history. For example, I told you, mm. your father, mother, brother, in, you know, mm. uncle, someone in the close family mm -hmm. is having heart problem. Mm -hmm. And especially if you are, you know, in a stressful environment, you're working, mm. uh, you know, so you're not having an exactly healthy lifestyle. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think it's better to be cautious. All right. So anyone more than 45, girl or boy, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It is better to have an annual, annual checkup. Check right. Thereby you check the blood, have a good checkup from the doctor, mm -hmm. and if he gives a clean check, well and good. Mm -hmm. Suppose he finds a problem, mm -hmm. he'll advise it you what be. to take and what not to take, and maybe refashion mm -hmm. your lifestyle, okay. you see? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's my advice. Mm -hmm. So don't try to medicate too much. Mm -hmm. Don't try to treat yourself, mm -hmm. and that is where you get into you know, mm -hmm. trouble. So if you have some problem, initially you try a mm -hmm. couple of times, mm -hmm. but still it keep on troubling you. Yeah. Yeah. Because any heart patients, mm -hmm. usually if you dig deep down, mm -hmm. you find that he was having the problem for quite some time. Yeah. And it's not like just one day it has come. Mm -hmm. No, it has been there. The warning shot has been there, mm -hmm. but he tried to ignore. Okay. Or he choose to ignore. Let's make it that way. Yep. So that is what happened. Mm -hmm. So. If you come early, mm -hmm. it can be fixed early. Okay. And what about the children? Because, um, again, like we said, we've had cases of children with rheumatic heart conditions, others with congenital heart conditions. So then, um, and, and for the children, how do you know? Because, of course, they are young. We assume they are active and they might not have issues with the heart. We yes. always tend to think about, you know, heart conditions and all that and relate to the to the older age. But, of yes. course, the children are also, yes. um, you know, in trouble uh, for they seem. So then for the children, how do we know? Should they also go for the annual checkup or what Not do necessarily. Happens? Many times. Mm -hmm. If it's a complicated or significant heart problem, let's mm -hmm. make it that way, by yeah. birth, mm -hmm. it always shows up. For yeah. example, you must have heard what is known as a blue baby syndrome. Mm -hmm. Recently, we did one child. Mm -hmm in Karen Hospital, mm -hmm. whereby the mother typically says, when, the, when my son or daughter runs around, mm. the child becomes breathless and becomes bluish. Mm. And the moment he takes or she takes rest, mm -hmm. becomes okay. Become okay. That's, that's called a blue baby syndrome, okay. you know? Mm -hmm. So that shows there is something wrong. Mm -hmm. Or if the child say he can't play with other children football, mm -hmm. he feel breathless, mm -hmm. a, you know, he has to gasp, mm -hmm. or he say there is a lot of heartbeat, you know, mm -hmm. palpitation. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that, okay, he has to be taken to a doctor. Okay. Now sometimes, many times, when there is mild problems inside mm -hmm. the heart, it is being picked up by school health program, mm -hmm. which we also have it, yeah. many countries have it. So mm -hmm. the doctors and the nurses goes to the hospital, school, Schools. check all the children, and many times you pick it up from there. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. you know, when mm -hmm. the po doctor put the stethoscope, he finds something, then you ask the yeah. child to come to the hospital. So, mm -hmm. so that he school health program is a very good program. Mm -hmm by which you screen them, mm. if they are healthy, it's good. Yeah. If they have any problem, immediately you check them mm -hmm. and treat them accordingly. Mm -hmm. As you know, the science and technology has advanced. Yeah. You know, gone are the days where you pray to God and sit at home. Yeah. No. Now the we science and technology, to, yeah, yes. we have improved and I can mm -hmm. tell you that way. Mm -hmm. Karen Hospital also, I think probably we are the forerunners, mm -hmm. uh, torch bearers, I can say, mm -hmm. in the cardiac program, cardiothoracic program in mm -hmm. the whole of Kenya as well as the sub-Saharan mm -hmm. Delta. Okay. Uh, so, we have technology mm -hmm. by which we can check it. We have the cath lab facility by which we can image the heart very mm -hmm. well, see mm -hmm. if there is a hole or mm -hmm. if there is a block. Mm -hmm. And we have technology has advanced in such a way mm -hmm. that we can even clear those mild things mm -hmm. without surgery. Okay. You know, that's called, you put a small tube through the artery, go mm -hmm. into the heart, mm -hmm. and using a balloon you can clear the block, mm -hmm. or if there is a block you can put what is known as a, a you know devices mm -hmm. to close it, mm -hmm. or we can do surgery also. Okay. Yeah. It so now things have a, mm -hmm. you know improved to such an extent that the morbidity or mortality or the risk has mm -hmm. come down traditionally. Yeah. You know, when I was a student mm -hmm. long long ago, I'm telling. Okay. <laughs> previously, when a patient go for mm -hmm. heart surgery, mm -hmm. that's it. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone start crying. They yeah. know that he may not come back. True. But things now the 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 morbidity mortality has. Mm -hmm. gone down, mm -hmm. it has become very acceptable. Yeah. You see, mm -hmm. a normal heart surgery without much of a complication, mm -hmm. the risk is less than 5%. Yeah. So you have 95% chance of success and yeah. only 5% chance of risk. Complications yeah. and, and, so and that's a very things. acceptable yeah. thing. All right. Okay, so we should, not, we should not worry. But of course, we'll talk about surgery later on yes. as an option. Um, so then in terms of the foods that we take, I know we talked about bad cholesterol and good cholesterol. But then again, when it comes to, to food, because again, we need to eat mm -hmm. <laughs> because also the heart needs um, needs food in, in its own way yeah. so in terms of the good foods and the bad foods i know we we talked about avoid like foods in um, you know deep fried foods you know and all those things but then again there are 
others which are really good, um, you know, for general health, but of course for the heart as well. So what are we looking at? See, if you, if you look at that, you know, there's mm -hmm. a food pyramid. Unfortunately, I don't have that. Otherwise, right. there's a food pyramid we say. Mm -hmm. Things that you eat mm -hmm. maximum and mm -hmm. what things you should restrict to minimum. All right. So you can take, you know, cereals you can take, mm -hmm. vegetables you can take, mm -hmm. maximum, no problem. Mm -hmm. But as you come up the, uh, the, pyramid, the pyramid, you yeah. must restrict it. Okay. You know, the red meat is not good. That's what mm -hmm. I want to tell the Kenyan because okay. it's a country which eats a lot of red we meat. We love it, yes. Yeah. We I know it is tasty, yes. but you've got to keep a control over okay. it. Okay. Especially pork, beef, mutton, mm -hmm. all these red meat, mm -hmm. it is, has a lot of fat inside. Mm. In fact, fat is the tasty part of it. Yes. So you must keep it in moderation. Okay. Rather, you can go for the white one. Fish mm -hmm. and chicken mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. So eat more chicken, okay. fish and chicken. All right. Restrict the red meat. Red meat, yeah. yeah. Restrict the... Uh, butter, ghee, mm -hmm. you know, all sort of things. Mm -hmm. Eat more cereals, mm -hmm. vegetables. Mm -hmm. That's, that's how you do it. Right. But if everything is in moderation, mm -hmm. I would say mm -hmm. you're on good good side. Okay. But when you go out of control, yes. then then the problem starts. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And and some would say okay for the red meat. Um, some would say well I try although this is like a very minimal number, <laughs> try to eat li the lean meat. Um, of course, as, as compared to now, of course, the fatty uh, aspect of it, does this help? Or as long as it's red meat, eat in moderation? Yes, okay. I would say so. All right. I would say that if it's red meat, okay. restrict it, mm -hmm. eat in moderation. All right. You know, you can take the mm -hmm. you know white meat, which is a fish and chicken, mm -hmm. no harm. All right. And always grill it. I always tell the patient, don't mm -hmm. fry it. Mm -hmm. Grill the chicken, mm -hmm. grill the fish, mm -hmm. no harm. All right. Eat any vegetable you want. No harm. Okay. But resting the butter, ghee, you know, mm -hmm. all those things, mm -hmm. I think then you are on the safe side. Okay. And what about sugar? Um, yeah, because again, we tend to who, mm. drink and of course have lots of sugars in, in our diet. Um, so is sugar that bad as far as, of course, um, I, I would, the heart is you concerned? Know, in moderation, it is okay. All right. But anything in excess, I just like I told mm. you in salt, mm -hmm. it is bad. All right. So I think... Use as and when it is needed, mm. both try to go over the board. All right. That's, that, that's the message I want to tell. Okay. Because there's some people who try to avoid sugar completely mm. and eliminate sugar out of their diet. But I, I mean, we, we need it as well, uh, you know, in the body. Mm. All right. And, and what about um, exercise? Because we are always told, try as much as possible and be as active as you can. Try and exercise every day if you can. Um, or just develop a schedule where you can, you can be exercising. So are there... Um, some of the, what are some of the exercises that are good for the heart? If you ask me personally, mm -hmm. the cheap and best is go for a good brisk walk. All right. That okay. You don't have to go to fancy <laughs> gyms. I All don't, right. I have anything, nothing against them. Gym, yeah. If you can go walk around the block mm -hmm. half an hour every day mm -hmm. for five days, mm -hmm. five, ta five times a week mm -hmm. is good enough. Take Saturday, Sunday off you know, right. to, to be on the, <laughs> okay. yeah, you can take off. Okay. But five days a week, if you can walk half an hour brisk walk, mm -hmm around the block or, you know, near your neighborhood, mm -hmm. I think that will surface. Mm -hmm. But if you are a gym member, it's okay. You mm -hmm. can go to the gym. All right. So basically, if you remain fit and active, mm. that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. You, don't right. sh you should not have a sedentary lifestyle. Life that is the yeah. moral of the story. Yeah. You know? And there's some people who say, well, you see, for my occupation, I tend to sort of like, it requires a lot of sitting. Uh, and... Let's say I work late, I get to the office very early in the morning and then I get home very late. By the time you go home, you're exactly, tired. Exactly, you're tired and you we just have. don't have time to, to try and be active. So during the day, are there some of the things that they can do in as much as the work is demanding and all those things? Is, are there exercises, things there that are, they can there do? There are small things. That yeah. is why many, many of the physiotherapists or many of the uh, people have come out with, I don't know whether you know, mm -hmm. 10,000 steps a day, mm. certain programs like that. Yeah. So what it means is that Try to, for example, mm -hmm. suppose your office is on the third floor. Mm -hmm. Don't take the lift. Take the stairs. Take the stairs. So these mm -hmm. are exercises that you do mm -hmm. without your knowledge. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you are, you know, so I would say take the stairs mm -hmm. instead of the lift. Okay. Suppose you go wanted to go to the near, ne neighborhood shop. Mm -hmm. Don't take the car. Walk and go. Mm -hmm. So these are small things which you can do. Mm -hmm. You can fashion yourself mm -hmm. by which you do exercise without your own knowledge. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. try to do also, you know, don't take the car or, or for unnecessary reasons. Mm -hmm. Don't take the lift, mm -hmm. use the stairs. Mm -hmm. And 10,000 steps, of course, now there are fancy watches and things like that. They yes. count how many they steps count you, are. you yeah. have in a day. So you can do 10,000 steps. Mm -hmm. 
uh, per day, like try to walk around. Mm -hmm. And you, as you know, in many of these IT companies, mm -hmm. of course, in Kenya also it has come, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, it's, it's a sedentary job. You sit yeah. on the computer from morning till night. So mm -hmm. most of these IT, big time IT companies, they have a gym inside itself mm -hmm. to, to, to break the, the monotonous. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. these guys who are on the computer, mm -hmm. They take a break, go run on the treadmill, come back and then, and then do back. it. Yeah. Okay. Most of these places they have, they have mm -hmm. a gym inside mm -hmm. to promote them to do yeah. more active life. Yeah. Because your work is sedentary, so might as well do yeah. it. Yeah, but if so, you can do that, then try walk yeah. around. So I think basically mm -hmm. it is a mentality. Mm -hmm. You know, you should be motivated mm -hmm. to walk around, mm -hmm. to do the things. But if you are not motivated, someone is trying to inject in you, yeah. it may be difficult. Okay. So you have to, it has to come from within. From, yes, true. You know, mm -hmm. it has to come with us. You have to feel that, okay, I have to walk around, I have mm -hmm. to be fit, I have to have a healthy lifestyle yeah. so that you have a comfortable life ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That has to come from inside. True. You can try to advise them. Okay. But you know, there's a saying. They don't have the motivation yeah, from, from You know, there's being. a saying in English, it mm -hmm. says it. You can take the horse to the water, but the horse has to drink the water. Yep. You can't drink the water. Mm -hmm. So it has to come from within. From within. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Because this, we've had so many people who say, we enrolled in a gym and then uh, a month later, I, I couldn't do it. So yeah. you don't really have to go to the gym for you to stay. No, I don't think if so. If you can, well and good. That's fine. But if you cannot, walk around and do all those things. Yes. Okay, and in terms of... Um, still on what the exercises uh, i know there's some people who'd say and especially in pregnancy um where at times one is tired and don't have the energy and you know to do all those things again are there exercises that they can still you know i do? would say you know mm -hmm. they don't have to really go and run in the gym yeah we can just go for a stroll and walk yes. you know as per the advice of the obstetrician yes. and gynecologist yeah you can do it all right yeah okay so for a person especially when when genetics um, you know of course comes to play um, a person might try all right and because they know first of all of course they are at risk and do all these things that of course this sometimes you can't you can't do anything uh, we know about it because it's in your genetics yes. all right yes. so for them do they have to sort of like and especially for the for the exercise and lifestyle and all those things, let's say do like twice as, no. as compared to no. a person who's not at risk? Uh, no, it's like, you know, I don't think you have to do like that because okay. it's like, you know, you are eating all the food in one day for one week. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, right. you should not no. do like that. Okay. No, the, the, when you have a genetic preponderance, mm. what I mean to say, mm -hmm. you know, in latest, now they have genetic mapping is there mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. some places, some in the Western world where you map and say, all right, you are, mm. you are at risk. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Uh, when you have a genetic preponderance, mm -hmm. you have a genetic trait inside you, thinking, yeah. taking that, you know, you must have heard, 25-year-old boy had a heart attack, yep. you know, mm -hmm. you know, things like that, mm -hmm. you know, usually it happens in 50s and 60s, mm -hmm. here is a boy who has got 25. Yeah. If you trace his genetics, mm -hmm. you find that his father had a problem, his mm -hmm. mother had a problem, mm -hmm. you know, so it is inside. Mm -hmm. So those are the people who should be at very cautious, more aware, yeah. very more, more aware, mm -hmm. and you should be in touch with the doctors. Mm -hmm. and, and those are the people who have to be extra cautious, mm -hmm. not cautious, mm -hmm. extra cautious mm -hmm. regarding the food, mm -hmm. regarding the drink, smoking, stress, you know, blood pressure, mm -hmm. diabetes, all those things. Okay. And, and then for those people who have some of those conditions that we talked about, others who are dealing with high blood pressure, um, others with diabetes and all those things. So in terms of the management to ensure that it doesn't go overboard and of course put them at more risk um, you know, of getting heart conditions, um, what can you do or what would you say as far as management of the pre-existing condition is so that they don't end up getting heart yeah, condition. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Mm -hmm. See, now we have the medication, mm -hmm. we have very refined medications, mm -hmm. we've got very qualified doctors. Mm -hmm. So with proper medication and good guidance from the doctors, mm -hmm. I'm sure it is. Mm -hmm. I know many people staying happily for 50 years with mm -hmm. blood pressure, no mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. He's having a quality life. But mm -hmm. He knows what to do and what not to do. All right. That you should know where to draw the line. Okay. That's what I mean to say. All right. So if you do the proper way, there are, I know many patients, mm -hmm. 50 years of diabetes, mm -hmm. no problem. He's having a normal life. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean. So you have to accept the problem. Mm -hmm. You know, you should not shy away mm -hmm. or run away from it. You mm -hmm. accept it. All right, I've got a problem. Mm -hmm. Now, the science and technology has advanced. Mm -hmm. There are doctors, there are medication. Mm -hmm. Get on with it. All right. Rather than shying away and telling that, no, I'm fine. I'm fine, And yeah. then you keep on pushing it. Mm -hmm. And after 10 years, you find you have all sort of complications. Okay. All right. But for those those people who are not in touch with their doctors and all those things, because, again, I mean, culture and all those things sometimes come to play and people don't want to talk about it and all those things. So what can they do? Um, 
limit the amount of salts. Yes. Are they supposed yes. to do all yeah. those things? Healthy, <laughs> healthy diet, mm -hmm. exercise or act, be active mm -hmm. and uh, don't do any self-medication. Mm -hmm. If you have any problem, go to the nearest doctor, mm -hmm. get it fixed mm -hmm. because these are things that can be fixed. Yeah. It is not that, you know, it cannot be fixed. Mm -hmm. So I think you should not shy away. Mm -hmm. Science has to improve. Mm -hmm. We are in a different mm -hmm. era, mm -hmm. you know, we mm -hmm. are so... I think we should just accept it. Okay. All right. Accept it. All right. And mm. the society needs to make it easier even yes. for these people. Don't, yes. Do not stigmatize and say, yeah. oh, you did this. That is why you have this. Okay. So then in terms of um, the conditions and especially rheumatic or congenital or, you know, all these other heart, um, you know, heart diseases in terms of then the medications um, and adhering to the medication, of course, is very, very important. Indeed. But there's an aspect of surgery. All right. So when is surgery an option, especially for someone with a heart condition? Is it, let's say they're not responding to the medication or yes. what usually happens? Now what happens is that mm. suppose someone is diagnosed with a heart problem, mm. he comes to the clinic, mm. we investigate them. As you know, there are the array of investigations are starting mm. with weight and height and mm. ECG, we take it, yeah. we do, you know, chest x-ray, then mm. we do echocardiogram by mm. which you can image mm -hmm. the heart. And then if needed, we do what is known as angiogram. Mm. So these are the different type of MRI. Now mm. the new thing has come, mm -hmm. which is known as cardiac MRI, by mm. which, especially in children, yeah. without doing, you know, just like a, you can image the heart. Mm -hmm. So there's a, you know, there's a, there's a big list of mm -hmm. tests that can be done. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is not that you do it for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's like the cafeteria. Suppose mm -hmm. you come. I check you and mm. find out, all right, you need the one, two, three, four. Mm. Doesn't mean that you have to do everything. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm going to say? Mm -hmm. So that's the way we should do it. Mm -hmm. So it's up to the doctor to decide, all right, this is the test I want mm -hmm. to make sure what it is. So basically what he does is that he's reconfirming mm. the diagnosis, what right. he has right. before right. he starts the treatment. Mm -hmm. Once he confirms that, all right, this guy has got this problem, mm -hmm. what is the best option? Mm -hmm. Now, you can say what is known as a cafeteria-like choice, you mm -hmm. know. You lay down all the facts, the facts yeah. and then you find out, all right, mm -hmm. this guy has got this problem. Mm -hmm. Shall we give the medicine? Mm -hmm. We'll try with medicine. Mm -hmm. If the medicine doesn't work, mm -hmm. then go to plan B, which okay. is the surgery. Yeah. As you know, the surgery also mm -hmm. has a duance. Mm -hmm. you know, we have all sort of you know, fancy surgeries we can do. I do a lot of beating heart surgery whereby, mm -hmm. now as you know, heart is a moving organ. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you should, traditionally, mm -hmm. when we were all taught that when, like your car, mm -hmm. when the car has to be repaired, you mm -hmm. stop the car and repair. Mm -hmm. But now the technology is advanced. Mm -hmm. You repair the car when the car is running. Okay. So that's called so beating that's heart surgery. Heart. Yeah. Okay. So all, right. all those sophistication has come and mm -hmm. I have done many. Mm -hmm. I think in uh, Karen Hospital, I've done about 56 mm -hmm. beating heart surgeries. Okay. Yeah. So you don't use any fancy instruments, mm -hmm. nothing. It's like general surgery. Mm -hmm. We have few things. Heart is beating, you okay. repair it, and patient goes home. All right. Mm. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> most of the time, back then, where people, when, from what we said early on, when you hear someone uh, has to do like a heart surgery, we all get scared because we don't know what I happens. Do. And, I agree you with know, you. And, yeah. and all those things. All right. So then, um, are there people who are not sort of eligible for a heart surgery? Are there some instances where it restricts someone's chances of getting a heart surgery? Uh, you know, mm -hmm. it all, once again, we come to the basic question. Mm. If the disease is not that well advanced, mm. if it is still within the recovery period, mm -hmm. or is it still in the beginning stage, mm -hmm. we can fix it. Right. But people sometimes come when, at the end, we say end stage heart disease, mm -hmm. where which the next step is only death. Mm -hmm. When you come to that stage, mm -hmm. sometimes you are not fit for a surgery. Mm -hmm. You are not fit for the anesthesia. Yeah. Then you say that, look, my friend, you have come too late. Mm -hmm. Where were you all these days, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So th those patients, we just give medicine. Mm. We tell the family that, look, this mm. is where we are. This, yeah, mm -hmm. you have delayed the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You should have come much early. Mm -hmm. But we'll try the best. Mm. But sometimes, mm -hmm. some of the family members mm -hmm. tell me that we are ready to take the risk. Please mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. So I tell them, look, I can do it. Mm -hmm. But because of multiple complications Reasons, patient yeah. has, the risk also is high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That they should accept it. Mm -hmm. Because if you would have come five years earlier, mm. things would have been a different, yeah. but now we have come late, mm. the heart has taken a lot of beating, mm -hmm. and the heart is hardly beating, the muscles mm -hmm. are bad, mm -hmm. muscles are injured, mm -hmm. damaged, and he has a lot of other complications, mm -hmm. it's a risky procedure. A risk so this, so yeah. I tell them, the risk and the benefit. Suppose mm -hmm. I, you know, every patient I say, if I mm -hmm. do a surgery, mm -hmm. This is the percentage of success, yeah. this is the percentage of risk. All right. So, so and weigh... the risk can be one, two, three, four. Yeah. So, 
as a doctor, it's my duty to explain to them, mm -hmm. tell them what I'm and planning to do. Wait. This is All the way right. it is. This mm -hmm. is a success. This is the problem. Mm -hmm. And it is for the patient and the family to go back and mm. think and discuss about it mm -hmm. and come back. All right. Some people say, all right, we accept it. Mm -hmm. But some people say, it's but I, I, to tell you the truth, yes. I think that way Kenya is good. Mm -hmm. They accept it. Mm -hmm. But there are mm -hmm. many places in mm -hmm. India mm -hmm. where they said, oh, we don't want, we'll go back yeah. and pray to God and all. Yeah. all right. It's up to you. It's your choice. It's your choice. It's true. But as a as doctor, a it's my duty to explain. To, uh, yes. And, and for the shoulder, we hear so many cases of um, open heart surgeries. I mean, for, for the children, again, um, are the risks higher, and especially for open heart surgeries in children, um, or, or what usually happens? Usually, mm -hmm. if the children less than 10 kilograms, mm -hmm. in Karen mm -hmm. Hospital, we do children more than 10 kilograms. Mm -hmm. Less than 10 kilograms, as you know, the babies are small. Yeah. Well, we, you know, so the risk becomes more. Yeah. Some of the hospitals, which are highly specialized, mm -hmm. I would say, which mm -hmm. are meant for only for kids, and they mm -hmm. have a lot of highly specialized team, mm. there you can try it. Even though the risk may be high, mm -hmm. still they try it. Mm. You know, mm. some of the children's hospital, for example, you know, Cleveland Clinic or, mm. you know, India also there are a few hospitals where mm -hmm. they do only children's. Mm -hmm. So they are fine-tuned mm. to look after the children. Yeah. There they do very small children. Mm. The, 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 the chance of risk may be high, but mm. still they can try. Mm. Here in Karen, up to more than 10 kilograms we do it less than 10 kilograms usually mm. by and large we don't do it unless yeah. it's a very simple procedure because right. you need a fine team yes. to look after them mm. because as you know children mm. it's a different ball game it you is know true. so mm -hmm. not only the doctors the nurses mm. you know physiotherapists mm -hmm. everything it's a, it's a you must have a team of your own yes which i don't think at this stage mm -hmm. we have it okay. so we openly tell them look this right. the child is too small why don't you go we to a bigger place where mm -hmm. they can do a better job? All right. So I think we should be honest with the... True. Because with there's the, no the point in hiding public. it. Yeah. yeah. Just be honest. Okay. Tell them, you know, we, do, we are not capable enough of doing this mm -hmm. at this stage. So you go to, we can tell you one or two hospitals where mm -hmm. you can go. Okay. So there you go. All right. So we need to end the show like right now, but what would be a parting shot as far as, because we do not want to get to that point where we have to do surgery. We have to prevent, I mean, some of these cases, and especially for, for the children and for just the public in general, mm. but for the children mostly. So what would be your parting shot as far as a healthy heart is concerned? Yeah. As yes. you know, 29th of this month mm -hmm. is we are uh, celebrating the World Heart Day. Yes. Every year we celebrate, mm -hmm. uh, by which, you know, we have some camps, educational programs, mm -hmm. teach people. The idea is to, heart disease, mm. if you have, if you control your food, mm. be healthy, be active, mm. many things can be avoided True. in the early part of life. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that is the education, that is mm -hmm. a message the public should have, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So you eat healthy, you look after not only yourself, but also your dear ones. Yeah. So if you do that, mm -hmm. I think half the problems can be, can be solved. Yeah, solved. Yeah. But if you okay. don't do that, yeah. then you know that you are asking for trouble. Yeah, and, and, and sometimes the risk might be, might be bigger, yes. that you might not end up getting that, that treatment that you require. Dr. Prem, thank you so much for coming by today. Pleasure. Really, really appreciate your time. And of course, the info as far as Healthy Heart is concerned. And of course, thank you so much for staying with us as well until the end of the show. I believe that you have grasped a thing or two as far as Healthy Heart is concerned. And remember, most important thing is prevention. It's very, very key so that we do not get to those cases of where complications are too high. So my name is Winnie Lubembe. On behalf of the entire team who put together this show, we wish you a lovely day ahead. We'll see you again next week on Monday, same time, same place, for another episode of My Doctor. But for now, it's a goodbye. Uh, stay safe and God bless. Thank you.